Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for my baby sharks, my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are a cross watcher, I will be doing new videos for all signs um, starting the 6th or 7th of the month. Okay? Pisces, what you got going on here? We got the devil, we got the king of pentacles, we got the nine of wands, and we got the high priestess. Damn. I'm just going to sit them out and, and clarify them all because I'm confused. All right. So what is this nine of wands about, spirit? What is the nine of wands about? That is you hanging on to that last one of integrity with everything you have. And the king of pentacles, money. Feeling bound or restricted by Saturnian energy, by... The devil don't always have to be bad, but it can be toxic. And then I have the high priestess. Which is you kind of knowing where to go with whatever this is. Let's find out what the Nine of Wands is about first. Four of Wands. So maybe you're trying to hold on to your home. Yeah. Or a marriage. There's definitely some pain here. I wanted to come out. Yeah, fighting and arguing. Five of Wands is all about inner and outer conflict. What you should do. You know... I've been sitting here thinking about moving, you know, because it's too cold here and I don't like it. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe you're trying to put your pinnacles together so you can, yeah, hanged man. So I almost feel like this is inner conflict and not outer conflict, but it could be, you know, something's got you stuck in your head. Thinking about what's next. What is this King of Pentacles about? The Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Leaving the past behind to get to the financial stability that you want to get to. Wow. All right. Yeah. So there's offers on the table here. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Taurus energy. So there's a contract involved. But whatever this is, it, it is definitely fair to you. Wasn't going to go there, but Gemini energy, the lovers. What is this devil about, spirit? What is this devil about? I'll get a different deck here in a minute. The Seven of Cups. Choices, options, and illusions. Somebody's a little obsessively thinking about their choices and options. To the point where it's got them stuck. 
They don't know what to do. They know a choice has to be made. And something's gonna hurt. Okay, so I got the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Page of Cups. So, something you're really passionate about, and something you love. That's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place. All right. What is this High Priestess about? There is some pain behind this. Does somebody feel like they got something to prove? You ain't got nothing to prove to nobody, Pisces. You do you. You do what's right for you. I feel like this Five of Cups isn't you. It might be you, but I don't know. I got family here. I got somebody being very reckless in a relationship and turning the king of cups on the head. Maybe it's a choice between two people. I don't know. Take it how it resonates and don't manifest the rest. We're going to find out. Wow. I can take those. Um... What is this five of wands and this hanged man about in this uh, marriage or relationship or living situation? Four of wands, healing, or four of swords, my bad. Some kind of healing of heartbreak. In the world card. Pisces, I'm going to say this in the most compassionate manner I possibly can. You can't fix everybody. You've got to work on your own wounds. And although you would like to fix these other people's problems, With the Knight of Wands here, I feel like you can't. Lots of these people are actually pretty jealous of you and maybe even spreading rumors about you. And if they did that in the past and you're healing from that, you're, you're birthing a whole new cycle. What is this uh, Six of Pentacles about in this Hierophant? What is that about, Spirit? What is this contract? Hanged man again. Not sure what to do with this. I want to run, jump, and play. People are holding me down. Five of Wands again. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So as much competition as there is for whatever this is that you're going after... I feel like it might be at a distance from you. I do feel like it's going to be a very fruitful venture. You left the past behind. You're moving towards something new. And that new is going to lead you to the Nine and Ten of Pentacles. 
no matter who gets in your way. I don't think you're going to let anybody get in your way. I think you're going to ride right past this Five of Wands. And say, bitches. I'm enlightened. I know what the hell I'm doing. You are going to get yourself unstuck. Because that was in reverse. You know what you're doing, Pisces. What is this option thing? Ah. Don't belong in there. Options between two or three things. That is the Three of Cups, so it could be love. No communication. Page of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse. No longer sad. No longer grieving. And the Nine of Wands upright. So no matter how you go about this, Pisces, somebody's going to get hurt. What were those two cards? That wasn't what I wanted. What is this King of Cups in reverse? Everything else looks beautiful here. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Because somebody's not telling somebody else how they feel. They're just kind of guessing. Somebody wants to get married. I just pulled the Four of Wands again. And the Higher Font again. And the Cancer card. So, there is a Two of Cups here. There is a happy family here. Somebody is letting somebody else know how they feel. It's a win. It's a home. It's a marriage. The Four of Wands. And somebody's riding in on their chariot. Hierophant again. This is all about contracts, marriage, spirituality, knowing what you want, ready to go, take it to the next level. It's like spirit is guiding your steps right now, Pisces. And you should very much listen. Especially if you want love. Because I do see that basically I feel like you're not interested in love at all right now. It doesn't even cross your mind. And Spirit is asking you to see that because there is somebody here who is very much fighting for your attention that is hurt that you're not responding you might not respond be responding to their texts to their calls i don't know message of concern like I said, I feel like somebody's trying to send you a message and they can't. You've either got them on block or you're just not answering the phone. They want to change something now, Pisces, because they're sick. I have a main female. I have a child. I have sudden wealth. A change and bad health. So somebody came into an awful lot of money. Probably via inheritance. And then they got sick. 
either mentally or physically or emotionally sick. I feel like somebody, and I'm going to put it out there to you this way because that's what I'm feeling. Somebody changed a will. And there's a lot of people that are upset about that. Five of Wands twice, yeah. There's a lot of people upset about that. Could have something to do with the house. Or a home. And a whole family. I have Cancer. I have... What else do I have on here? Pisces. Capricorn. Taurus. Let's see what's going on with the love tarot. I see abundance. That's always good. Like that. Lightning. Keys on a ring. Healing heart. Boat. And karmic relationship. So yeah. There are three people involved here. Or three situations involved here. And one of them is very, very karmic. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. And transformation. You are definitely going through a huge one right now. You have a lot of options. Maybe you entertained a one night stand. I'm just saying, you know, do what you do. Because you're healing yourself. You're freeing yourself from any kind of toxicity. Relationship or addiction. You're 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 getting back what you lost. Receiving what you need, progressing, arriving, moving on. There's still some closure issues about a karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. It's time to let go of that. It's no, of no longer any use to you. All right, let's go through the signs here. See what they got to say. Yeah. Aries. I don't need your approval. Okay. Taurus. We are not right for each other. You need to say that again. Gemini. I hope you're happy for me. Absolutely. Cancer. I don't know what to say. Leo. We are more alike than I'd like to admit. Lib uh, Virgo. Your body language says so much. Really? Libra, I forgive you. For what? Scorpio, I don't know how to let you go. Aw. Sagittarius, I don't really know you. I don't really know you either. Capricorn. You are not part of my plan. You're not part of mine either. Aquarius. I scared myself that day. Life is like a box of chocolates. Pisces. I don't trust you. Pisces don't trust a whole lot of people right now. And you to everyone else. I wondered how far this would go. Apparently far enough. And I go all the way around the wheel on 
the signs. So please pay close attention to what I say because sometimes people say, well, what about Aquarius? Well, listen. Don't just skip through the video. Listen. I see all 12 signs, I promise you. Let's see what the wisdom of the hidden realms got to say for my Pisces. Pisces. The lady in the mirror. Reflection and non-judgment in the dream walker. Dreams, the collective good, and illusions. So what's good for you may not good be good for a lot of other people but that's okay because Pisces is not afraid of that and I know the lady in the mirror is the last one she is both an ally and a challenger so listen closely my Pisces the lady of the mirror is both an ally and a challenger asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life she represents the power force, powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or even if you find yourself the victim of a big picture event, say a war. This is a distorted interpretation of this law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Rather find yourself within the web woven through your life, your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming failures, and successes. Observe how you responded to life's challenges great and small, and be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release the, all judgment and accept things exactly as they are with love. The lady in the mirror asks that you honor every part of your story as essential to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exactly where you want to be on your, part, on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part in the reactions and, and the motives behind your current inquiry? You will find the answer in a thorough and honest self-appraisal. So this is all about you approving of what you do. And not worrying about what all these other people who are trying to stab you in the heart doing muck, muck, muck and, and messing with your life. This is all about how you feel about where you are on your path. All right? Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press that like button, subscribe, and share. And thank you for all of them. I really, really appreciate it. You guys have a great one. And I will see you tom tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for the live stream. Till then, I love you.